his son Alec in between the pipes for Radford. And I am correct on that Richmond score. It was nine to one. Passed over to the far side. Number with the shot, oh, what a goal there. Tucks it home. They're probably gonna give the credit to Brendan Duffy, but if not, the finish from Tyler Duffy certainly put it away, and it's two to one. They're right back in this. As the old saying goes, a two-goal lead, the worst lead in hockey. When we take a look at the replay, we'll have to see if it went in initially. I believe it did, but it looked like based off the celebration that they maybe thought that Tyler Duffy's the one that scored it in game number one against Richmond. Saved 29 of them. Shot goes off a stick of a Radford defender. Another shot, rebounded high and a goal! Looks like it went off the stick of McDaniel. And if you actually look, it looks like it's, it's lodged in the back of the net. Yes, it is, around the bar. Just like that, three to one Flames. And, and that's what you needed to do. After, after Radford got, got that goal back, you, you push it right back to a two nothing lead, put this Radford team back on their heels and, and get your rhythm going again. Face off one by the Flames. Monticelli dumps it along. Over to Morozik. Here come the Flames once again. Foley putting on the pressure for the Flames. Passed out to the middle. Out in front, great pass and a goal! Dan Silvers with his first goal of the season. Three to two. And back and forth we go again. Take another look here, pass out in front, that clean a, as you like. That was a great pass, too. Beautiful work there from the Highlanders, and they're bringing it to Liberty. Over to Yasmin, back to Clackring. Kazmerzak. Kazmerzak with the shot, he puts it in the back of the net! Young Kazmerzak with his first goal. Looked uh, Kazmerzak on a number 16 jersey like, like his brother never left. There you go. What a, what a great shot there by the, by the younger Kazmerzak. Thomas Kazmerzak tucks one home from the point. Liberty back on top, doubling their lead, four to two. Jake, why don't you break down this replay for us? They get it out to, they get it out to Kazmerzak up at the point, had a couple, Yutzler had a couple screens in front of him from, uh, from Liberty players and from his own players, and that, it was a shot from the blue line from a Kazmer, Zach. What, what are you going to do? <laughs> what else do you expect, right? Fighting for it is Picarillo. Able to come up with it is Picarillo. Shot! Oh, what a play! Off balance, still gets it top corner. What a shot by Picarillo. Robert Picarillo with his first of the season. Five to two. Go the Flames. And, and now is where that numbers advantage starts to show. Over, over halfway gone through the game, 8.34 left in the second, and... The top line out here for Liberty, looking for more goals. McDaniel, taking his time, over to his right. Out in front, shot deflected and put in the back of the net. Good play there by McDaniel. Great shot, got the, got the bounce and found the corner. When we watch the replay, you might have to get some credit to Chisholm there on the redirect. But well, it looks for now like it'll go to McDaniel. LU leading six to two. And here's the replay. Here comes the shot from McDaniel. I believe that's gonna go to McDaniel. I don't think Chisholm got as much of that as I thought. Yeah, he, he didn't get he didn't get as much of that. He might have. Chisholm fighting for it. Gathered by Kazmerzak, dumping it back along. Radford defender takes a tumble. Now it's five on three. Opportunity out front, shot scores! Jonathan Clackring! Not much you can do about Clackring at, well, any angle, but especially that angle. 
He was right on top of the crease. And Yutzler just didn't know he was there. He got the puck. And at that point, it's if you're not right on top of him, it's too late. Taking a little look here at the replay, Yasmin with the beautiful pass out in front. Yutzler never saw it coming, probably thought he wouldn't do it, but he does. And that Yasler, or the, excuse me, the Yasmin to clack ring connection does it for Liberty once again. Share it with the shot. So a five on four opportunity for the Highlanders. Gotta say, Radford came out with a new logo last year for their, for their sports teams. And there's a back of the net. I'm here talking about logos, and Justin Malley's out on the ice making plays happen. Seven to three. That was a great shot there. Great setup by the Highlanders as well. Big number 90. Biggest number, longest hair, and a quick goal. Best scorer on the team. Taking another look at the rebound, tucks it in the back of the net. Radford doing a nice job of controlling. They've got one more opportunity here. Shot by Pettit. Rebound. Nobody home. Malley trying to send it. Backhanded. That goes off. Shot and a score. Off the rebound. That's where Radford's been getting most of their, most if not all of their points tonight. And seven to four. Game is not totally over just yet. Good work there from Radford. They were aggressive on the power play. Getting plenty of rebounds, Jake, one after another after another. Liberty unable to clear that puck and sitting at the doorstep is Clay Shapiro. Yeah, Shapiro was at the right place at the right time and got that rebound and had a wide open cage. Just couldn't get a stick on it. McDaniel falls down shot. Oh, what a wow. deflection. Are you kidding me? My goodness. Scott Chisholm. Deflecting Kane McDaniel's falling shot, puts it in the back of the net, and Radford cannot just catch a break here. No, they really can't. It, ev everything's bouncing Liberty's way tonight. My goodness. What a weird play. What a shame there for Alec Yutzler. Could do nothing about this. Falling McDaniel puts it on the stick of Scott Chisholm. And he, he gets it right over. I think that went clear over Yutzler's head, yeah. not even his shoulder. That went over his head. The shot was coming in low. I don't remember if I caught it or not, but I, no, I didn't catch it. I, I got out of the way. Graham out in front, scores. Good stick work there from him. Bumps Liberty's lead up nine to four. And and with 30 seconds left, that'll that'll pretty much do it. Matthew Graham. Great stick work from him. I believe that is his first goal on the evening. Everybody from Liberty trying to get on the score sheet here and just look at that. Deeks around the defender. Gets, gets Gutzler down hanging. in the butterfly and finds the hole under his arm. And Radford will hold it in the corner and that will do it. Your Liberty Flames move to 1-0 on the season. Radford, unfortunately for them, they played hard. Jake, but they fall to 0-2. Yep, yeah, they, they drop down to 0-2, but hey, what you don't expect to win too often when you when you come into the Lahey Ice Center, no matter which Liberty team you're playing, and that tonight just proved it.